So to be able to install this ROM, you are going to have to have a Galaxy S3 that is rooted. I'm using AirDroid, which is in the Play Store, to transfer the file over. So launch that up and make sure it's connected and you can then browse to this from your web browser on your computer. So once you're on your computer, all you have to do is put in the password for AirDroid. Very easy, it tells you on the actual phone itself. Once you put that in, click login, and you've been presented with these options here. Now we want to go to the files option here, which will then allow us to transfer over the ROM on your PC or Mac. So click on select files, and then browse to the zip file. You need the zip file specifically, so I'm going to select it here. You can see this is the version 3.0.3. .3. That is going to upload, and once it is fully uploaded, we are ready to get on with the good stuff of actually installing this. You can see it here, this is the zip file which is on the phone. Okay, so we're ready for the good stuff. So we're gonna be using this, which is called Clockwork Mod. So if I go into here, and if we just go up to the top of the menu, you will see we have an option here called Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tap on that, which will then reboot the device into the recovery mode, which will then give us the options to actually install this. So as you can see here, we have these options. It may be a little bit too hard to see, uh, but I'll explain what we need to do. So first off, we need to come down to the wipe data and use the volumes up and down to move that. And we're gonna actually do the wipe data factory reset. This doesn't actually wipe all the internal storage, so it's fine, and click on the power button and that will do that. And you can see at the very bottom, it's going through its thing. Next, we need to come down a little bit more and we're gonna come down to the wipe cache partition. And again, same way, hold down the power button and come down to the wipe cache. The next thing we need to do is actually install the ROM. So we're going to go to install from SD card and then I'm going to be using the internal SD so I don't have a second one in my phone. So again, I'm going to go onto that and if you look at the very, very bottom, you will see the zip file. So the Jelly Bean ROM 3.0.3. Uh, so again, we're going to select on that and it's, asked us, it's going to ask us, do we want to install this? Yes, we do. And we're going to hit the power button one more time. And you can see now it's doing its thing at the very bottom. So leave it to do its thing. Don't turn it off. Don't press any buttons. So as you can see here, we've got the Jelly Bean logo. So literally, like I said, let it do its thing and it will come back to the sort of installer uh, when it's ready to go. So there's the resurrection logo and here's the installer I was talking about. So literally just click on next and it gives you, do you want to do a default install, light or custom? So if you do click on custom, you can just see what it's going to install and you can add other things to it. So if you just look down the list, there's different things. For this, I'm just gonna show you just the list. Uh, you can obviously decide what you wanna install when you do yours. So once you've decided that, all you have to do is literally click on the next button and then it says ready to install and hit it and off it goes. Now again, don't turn it off, don't do anything, don't press any buttons, just leave it to do its thing and it will then say it's completed successfully and you are ready to go. And we are finished. So as you can see there, I've skipped some of that just so you don't have to watch it all, but that's now finished. Click on the, the next button and it, as it says, installation is complete. So what will happen now, the phone will reboot and you'll get a different animation when you turn it on. So as you see, we get the normal Samsung Galaxy S3, but now you will see the Resurrection Remix logo, which again, I think is fantastic. And there it goes. So now you can definitely tell that this is installed on your Galaxy S3. Now just after the logo disappears, you'll notice that the phone is completely blank. It does stay like this for a good minute, I've actually found. So don't panic, nothing's wrong. Just wait for it to come back with something on the screen. Okay, so after that minute or so, you will then be presented with this. So I'm gonna just quickly set this up just to show you uh, what it's like once it's fully done. Yes, I do have a Google account. So I'm gonna click on yes. I'm gonna add in my password so you can't see that. So it's now gonna be restoring um, some applications and settings and whatnot from my Google account to the device, which is very handy. Okay, so that's finished. The use Google location, I'm going to turn off and click next. Just a second and setup is complete. Tap on finish and I'm going to use the normal launcher and click on always. And we are now into Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S3. So there you go, folks. Just wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button just above. You can also follow me on Twitter at MattSaundersMCP. So as always, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.